You guys, we just had a mini panic attack. Good morning, everybody. I cannot believe, I feel this is kind of traumatic, but um, if you guys remember from yesterday's vlog, uh, I had that gnarly sunburn and went to bed at like 11 o'clock and then somehow woke up at one and couldn't fall asleep. Um, tossing and turning for literally until we w got up. And between one and when we got up, I could feel something in my throat and as the night was progressing, it was getting worse and worse and worse and like very, like a, like a sore throat. And in my head, I'm like the worst, I, I think the worst when it comes to everything, I am such a worry wart. And so in my head, I'm like, yep, I think I have COVID. So I went earlier today to CVS to get an at-home COVID test, rapid test, did it, and it came back as positive. And I was freaking out, like, what am I gonna do? I'm supposed to be here for another week. Am I even allowed to fly out? Thinking about what's going to happen. And then I was reading the reviews of the specific test and I want to say 80% of the tests say that they all got false positive results, meaning they weren't actually positive. So a lot of people took these at home uh, rapid tests just for peace of mind until they do the actual uh, PCR test and a lot of them took it got it positive and then also got a PCR test and that came back as negative like several like a lot of reviews said that so I went back and I kind of took that first test as like that's not what it is because I can't trust it because many people had problems with it so what I did is I went to uh, the website again to see if there's another uh, rapid test that is a little bit more reliable people have good reviews saying that they're accurate. Not necessarily that they came back as negative, but they are accurate. And there was another one that I got. I had to drive 15 minutes out, and I ended up doing the test in the bathroom. And this one came back as negative. If you have two lines, it is positive. If you have one line, which is the control at the top, it is negative. So we are good to go. I'm gonna make sure to hydrate a lot. I was talking to my brother's girlfriend Jessica on the way here and Isa and Joel were also mentioning that, you know, yesterday's heat exhaustion could be the factor of me like getting all these symptoms. Like I was super dehydrated, the sun poisoning could have made me super, super sick. Um, to the point where one, I was like restless and I couldn't sleep and two, I was having like, these crazy, um, sore throats. I didn't have any of other typical symptoms like loss of scent or taste or body aches or um, fever, just the sore throat and then me being exhausted because I couldn't sleep. So we're good to go. But today's plans are we are going to be meeting with Jill. It's already almost like 11 o'clock. We're starting our day super late. Um, we're going to meet me be meeting with Jill now that I have a negative rapid test result. Uh, we're going to be going to La Jolla and then figuring out things from there. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome, travel vlogger currently here in San Diego. And uh, just follow us along. I'm kind of a little bit behind in uploading vlogs, but you know, bear with me. I'm still trying to like get the get into the groove of things after being away for literally like four months. We'll see you guys in a bit. So we made our way here to La Jolla, which is a neighborhood a little bit north of where we are staying right now. Um, it's on the coastline, so there's a lot of like um, beach, coastline, water. It's pretty upscale here, um, but let's find where Jill is. She's already here and we're supposed to meet her to go to this thing, but look, oh my gosh. Look at all those trees. Should this be the thumbnail? Should that be the thumbnail? Sure. Sure. <laughs> So we're at the La Jolla Sea Cave, and this is a place where you can pay $7 to go down into, well, you go through a store, and then there's like a little pathway where there's like stairs built, and you go down into the, this place where there's a cave, like a viewpoint of the cave where you can see all the sea lions. Ooh, there are sea lions yeah, there. there sea lions chilling there. Oh, okay, we'll go in.
Okay, so we just left the coastline area. Lots of really cool sites with the sea lions, caves, all of that. But we're heading over to grab some lunch at this place called Haru Mama. I believe it's also a sushi joint as well. We were supposed to go to the one that is closer to Little Italy area, but let's go here. This is so convenient. Wow, it has been several hours since I last vlogged. Uh, we, <laughs> wow. Came back home and I ended up just taking a shower and taking a nap. As you guys remember, I only had like a hour, if that, uh, to sleep last night. So I took like a couple hour nap. And then we went downstairs put our foot, feet in the jacuzzi while the kids played in the pool. And then now we're having um, dinner. Let me show you guys what we got. Good old Domino's. Gonna eat. Yum. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog for today. Uh, tomorrow, I actually don't know if this vlog is gonna be super, super long. I haven't decided if I'm gonna combine today's vlog with tomorrow's vlog, but tentative plans are that we are gonna supposed to be going to the San Diego Zoo slash Balboa Park. That is tentative for me, decided, depending on if I feel a lot better, but hopefully a good night's sleep is going to take care of that. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. It is 1.18 in the afternoon. Obviously, I am still in my hotel room and you can still see this nice little burn from a couple days ago. I decided to stay back in the hotel room just to rest while the kids, Isa and Joel, go to the San Diego Zoo. I already know it's going to be super, super action-packed and very busy at the zoo because it's so huge. So I decided just to stay here, rest, and I ended up deciding to cut my sh trip a little bit shorter. I was supposed to end the trip or leave to come back home on the 7th, but I ended up deciding to come back home on the 4th with Isa and Joel for a few reasons. One of them is, although my rapid test came back as negative, um, I'm still, I, I don't know if I caught a cold or something, and I was supposed to stay three days after Joel and Isa and the kids leave. I was supposed to spend some time alone here in San Diego. One of them, one of the things I was gonna do was meet up with a couple of friends that lived here. I definitely don't want to like expose anybody to like cold germs um, while I'm at here, so. And it was kind of coincidental because my friend Jackie messaged me this morning saying that her baby or her child um, got sick and can't meet up. So, you know, that's that. But I'm just kind of sitting here in my hotel room relaxing for the past few hours. Not sure what we're going to be doing later. I know that the zoo is huge and they're probably going to be there most of the day. Maybe they're going to meet me up later today. I took a couple hour nap after I woke up, had breakfast with them, came back to the whole hotel room. But I just wanna take it easy. It is so draining just being out and about. But um, yeah, I will be cutting my trip short. It's so sad. But I eventually, but we are here for another two days, which is exciting. Tomorrow was like the day that I was really looking forward to and that was going to the Desert Hill Outlets. <laughs> this is sad. Um, also, I'm having a lozenge right now. All right, here. But yeah, I will get back to you in a bit. Okay, it's another day. 
<laughs> Yesterday was like definitely a rest day, but it is morning on the on the Tuesday and Grab some continental breakfast. Let me show you guys what we ended up getting. I have eggs, tater tots, bacon some toast and then apple juice so the plans for today are to go to the Desert Hill Premium Outlets. The reason why I spent yesterday like just resting was to be able to be good enough to go later today. It's about an hour and a half, maybe two hours drive from uh, San Diego. And yeah, we're gonna be shopping. Okay, so a couple hours later after leaving San Diego, we are finally here at the Desert Hill Premium Outlets. There's a lot of stores here, and it is also very hot at a high of 106 degrees. So, uh, let's head inside. Guess where I'm at? Balenciaga. Ooh, we ended up getting a couple things. Well, one, one each, so. Yay! Yay! Actually, I got two. Oh yeah, that's right, she got two. Okay, so several hours later, we finally are back home, and I got a few things from the outlet, something from Balenciaga, another thing from Saint Laurent, which doesn't have a label on their bag, and then one thing from Versace. Um, let me know if you guys want to see a haul. Um, but we're just going to chill for the rest of our night. This is our last full night here in San Diego. So we're just going to relax, pack, and then I need to call for uh, the front desk to request for late checkout. So.